Wouldn't you rather be holding hands connected to an Austrian accent? You're what are you hanging around here for? You're awake, huh? My goodness. Of course I am. Is that the big scoop you've been hanging around to tell me? As a matter of fact, Marty, no. I'm here because I have good news for you. They've located a heart. I thought, I thought that you'd be happy. told me I needed a transplant. No, I'm not delighted. I'm very, very grateful. But that poor soul donated this heart wanted to live as much as I do. The donor made a decision and he, he, of course, of course he wanted to live, but he decided that if he had to die, that someone else should be able to go on living. He. He. Catherine. Do we know who that donor is? No. No, I don't. I don't want to know. It would be easier somehow if I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll just take it easy, all right? Monica is going to come in here and she'll bring forms to sign. Oh, and some happy pills to take. You know, I've never been able to figure out why they just don't give a person a nice, dry martini. <laughs> Hey, before they drug me up, I want you to know, in case things don't work out. So, or I'm gonna come back and haunt you every time you have a fight with that Aussie well, hunk. If that's the case, then I'm just gonna pick fights with him all the time so that we can have you around as much as possible. Don't you worry about me, Catherine. I promise to dance at your wedding. And I always keep my promises. <laughs> I, wanna, I want you to know that I'm doing everything I can to make amends for all the trouble I've caused you. <laughs> That'll be a reason for living. To see you deliver on that promise. Catherine, give Robert a little kiss for me and tell him I'll give him one he'll never forget in a couple of days. Well. 
All right, maestro. Let's get this show on the road.